um, what we've got here is the is a quick comparison between our NanoCell and our QNED. Our NanoCell, as Tony mentioned, is LG's first um, series in our range. It isn't an entry spec though. So we've taken um, our UHD models from last year, upgraded them with NanoCell. It gives us extra 7% color here and put it next to a QNED. It gets a lot closer than ever in terms of color performance. But the thing to remember is this NanoCell is the same launch price as last year's UHD. So you're getting more for your dollars and everyone's gonna love that. So what I'll do is I'll quickly show a difference because when you step up to the QNED range, it's a $600 step up for a 65 inch on this one here. You're getting a little bit extra color performance and you should be able to see that. Here's a bit more orangey red. Here's a more of a nice deep red. There's extra color percent. It brings us up to 93% thanks to dynamic QNED Color Pro. And that's really gonna help when you're watching your HDR movies. You pay for 100% of the color on Netflix, Disney, Apple. But if you have a TV like a UHD, you're only getting about 75%. Here up into the 80s and here into the 90s. So you're getting all that color that you're paying for. And obviously at the very top, this LG OLED giving you 100% of that color. All right, in addition to extra color, the QND81 has a nice premium center stand. It's much thinner. It's half the thickness of this model over here. Slim, it looks good on the wall. Plus it has uh, local dimming, so I'll just play some more content. So you can see that the blacks are further improved and will dim to enhance again. There we go, we'll just roll with that for a bit. There we go, nice deep blacks, colors and contrast that really pops. Okay. I'll just, I'll just kick this section off by talking about um, content and performance across the range. So we say that LG is the premium home entertainment brand in Australia. We say that because we've been lucky to have that OLED technology over the last 10, 12 years, right? Um, but our QNED range has just gotten better and better and better. I was talking about that's the 100 inch mini LED out there. Um, we've got a number of them in, in here that I'll talk to. But I want to talk about what we're doing across the whole range, right? The processes are stronger than ever before. The memory is bigger than ever before. And we really are bringing AI tech into these TVs for the good of people. So it's not going to take over the world and it's not going to change your life completely. But we really have got some good examples of how AI technology with this strong, powerful performance of the TV is going to make things better for you as consumers. So we've been, I've been talking smart TV for a, a number of years. It really feels like we're getting to the point where it's really meaningful. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you'll see that. Um, I'll talk about uh, the range here. So the, the other thing, and going back to premium experiences, we, we've got OLED at our top end, right? Um, got that covered in all aspects. But previously we've had UHD 4K entry level product out there in the market. We've made a decision this year to actually not have a base level UHD 4K. We're going to actually use our NanoCell product as our entry level. So NanoCell has the benefit of enhanced color technology behind the UHD 4K TV. So if you buy an LG product in 2025, you're, you're already getting an upgrade, if you like. So we don't have same same entry level as everyone else has you already have an upgrade to better level color and if you can see although it's better right in the middle this is our qned our entry level qned that you've got here and it's not too far mm. apart from that product so we're giving we want to give consumers a great range of sizes great range of models but a really accessible prices and, and josh is going to talk about the market but the headline from a marketing level is a lot of these 2025 tvs are gonna come out very similar prices to the 2024 20, launch prices. And that, the degree of difficulty that these guys have overcome is hard. The Australian dollar is not in a good space. There's a orange dude in the US who's <laughs> wreaking havoc with the world, but still the team is dedicated to still offering value to Australian consumers.